All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depends where you are when you're watching this. Hello. Today I'm going to show you how you can start playing Sunflower Land, the game, if you've actually never played it before, or if you already played it but found it too difficult to either get the Sunflower Land token, um, or you found it difficult to buy the NFTs uh, for this game. So I'm going to show you today how you can use your credit card to start playing the, uh, the game. Cool? All right. So first of all, um, I'm going to be using the CryptoMat app, which you can get at the uh, following, U following uh, URL. So CryptoMat.io. Um, there's a... Uh, Web3 wallet, which you download, and I've already done that. Once uh, you download it and create an account, you can go to Sunflower Land. And um, let me just open up the app. Let me log in. Okay. On Sunflower Land, I will go to, I will press play. I will go to login. I will choose other wallets and I will choose Wallet Connect. On this end, I'm going to go into my app. I will choose the, I will go to the Web3 directory and I will choose Sunflower Land. All right, great. So I will just press this uh, connect button and here we go. The CryptoMat app is going to ask me whether I want to connect. I do want to connect. Uh, I've already made purchases of uh, SFL token before, so I don't have to add my credit card um, at all, but uh, it's just an additional step that you guys would have to do. So cool, what's happening now? I'm actually uh, logging into the game and probably step number one before you even, um, I mean, you will find yourself uh, in the game that you want to speed some things up and that will require uh, some SFL token. And how I, uh, how, how can I top, top this up? Basically, I'm gonna go to the SFL wallet section and I can choose different amounts uh, basically, in this case, I will, uh, so I can have a, like a 10 euro, a 15 euro or a custom amount. I will choose a 10 euro amount. Uh, it's going to be using my credit card for payment. As I said, like if you didn't set that up before, uh, if, you ha if you haven't made a purchase before, you will have to uh, input your credit card. But once you do it, it's used uh, for every purchase in the future. So. What's going to happen right now? Uh, this is it. I've actually just purchased uh, uh, a Sunflower Land token. It's going to take a while uh, for this. Uh, well, a while. It's going to take probably like a minute or so for this token to arrive. And uh, I can see this is my balance 14.5k SFL. And here uh, in my wallet, I actually have the same. So soon we should see the balance change because what's happening now in the back end. Uh, we do all the well, the uh, heavy work of basically buying the matic, uh, swapping the matic, delivering the matic, uh, 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 swapping the matic into the Sunflower Land token, blah blah blah. End of the day, you get the Sunflower Land token. Cool. All right. So um, uh, and uh, from from this dialogue. Uh, I will be able to send my Sunflower Land uh, token to the game. So let's just try that out. Uh, I will say, I will, for example, send one SFL to my farm, but I could actually also send some collectibles that I have in my wallet. I didn't show you this one yet. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's first send one SFL to the farm. So. I'm just going to make a deposit, the uh, app is going to ask me to confirm, bam, bam, the app is going to refresh, I actually now have 
SFL. After this deposit, it's going to be, well, obviously 12. So let's see what's going on. The game is refreshing, loading 12 SFL, bam, let's go. Um, I've, uh, what, uh, if you're a little bit like me, you will want to skip certain parts of the game. Uh, for example, if you require some uh, wood or uh, if you uh, want to collect some stone to, for example, uh, expand. So I need some gold. I need a block. What was this called? I need a, uh -huh, a block buck and uh, 30 minutes. Uh, so yeah, I have the required uh, iron. I have the stone. I don't have the gold. So let me put this down. So I need some gold. I need some blocks, bucks. Yeah, oh, that's cool. I'll get that. So I'll just go to. Uh, what I can do uh, straight from the app, I can just uh, uh, press go to marketplace and uh, on this marketplace uh, I can just uh, find some uh, gold. Uh, yeah, I can get some gold. It's pretty expensive this gold is. Mm, let's add it to my cart. Sometimes adding to cart on OpenSea doesn't always work or I get the invalid, invalid uh, quantity message and I'm not sure why, why that is the case. Let me just press a couple of these. Yeah, so all of them have an invalid quantity. Mm, let's try a different. Uh, what about this guy? Valid. Why? Uh, this is. It feels like as if uh, OpenSea somehow doesn't refresh. So whatever I do here, I, I'm like, uh, let's say 10. Do no difference whatsoever. So I'm gonna clear this and uh, I'll just. Uh, buy zero now maybe there's uh, no gold to be purchased oh my god that kind of sucks oh no yeah there is there is a way to buy it but it costs 20 cents so let me buy one gold and uh, yeah uh, let me buy one gold i will again connect my wallet with the crypto Man app Cool. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna purchase this NFT and we're gonna send it over to the game. I'm not sure about these block bu bucks if I can buy them on OpenSea, can I? It's... Sunflower land collectibles, I suppose. Bucks, no, I don't see no, no bucks, block, box, some block, buck, yep. Uh, what's happening here? Nothing's happening. So let me retry this. For some reason, it didn't want to connect. Let's retry. It does happen. Mm-hmm. Bucks are not for sale. Okay. Okay, it is what it is. I mean, I guess I will have to buy it through the game. We'll, we'll try that. So I'm now purchasing this gold. Yeah, and now this is gonna happen. So you know, I've received a new NFT. So I can uh, observe this uh, in the wallet. So you can see this gold has now arrived. That's great. And uh, the game is still not aware. Ah, actually now I need to, sorry. I need to transfer the gold to the game. 
I'm gonna send it over to the farm. What else do I need? Yeah, I'm gonna send it over to the farm. Confirm, basically that's that. And it's being deposited, the gold is being deposited into the farm. But yeah, guys, you saw how easy this was to top up SFL. Uh, no biggie, I'm actually now also purchasing these NFTs. Let's try to, um, yeah, so the farm uh, now already has this gold, as you can see here. Uh, let's try to get some bucks. Uh, one costs 0 0.25, obviously. Five, uh, blah, 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 blah. let's buy 10 for 175. Cool. I'm gonna pay with Matic. Let's see how this is gonna, if I can complete this. I've never done this, so I want to see what's gonna happen here. Do not refresh your browser. All right, so, but how is it purchasing that? Uh huh. Okay. Oh yeah, no, it's actually, it's getting Matic from my wallet. That's cool. I wasn't aware of that. Oh, okay, so that's great. I mean, I can also, so yeah, I purchased this, so you can see these 10 block bucks. So I can now probably, why can't I expand? Oh, shoot, I need level seven on my bumpkin. I'm gonna give it some food. This leveled me up to six. So you have no food in the inventory, or uh, actually I do. Um, Let's cook some kale stew. Er, bu, 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 skill points, what's going on? Skills. Uh -huh, skill points one, next skill point level seven. All right, so to, let, to reach level seven, I need another 1.9K oh, XP. Yeah, I guess that's gonna take a while. Okay, cool. Right, so uh, I showed you before how you can top up uh, SFL, but you can uh, top up Matic, uh, sorry, you can top up Matic just as easy. Uh, you go to the wallet, uh, you can choose the Polygon. We have different networks here, but let's say we're now on Polygon. Uh, you can see this from the uh, menu above. And I'm just gonna press top up here, choose Matic. And uh, for example, I will say 10 bucks or, okay, the minimum amount, all right, uh -huh. so I'm just gonna, yeah, the minimum, uh, 10, okay, 15 bucks worth of, or euros worth of Matic, and basically that's it. This is all that's required to top up my wallet. It's going to now um, get the funds from my credit card, and, uh, and I'm gonna get this Matic very, very soon. Um, so yeah, it takes a couple of minutes for the Matic to arrive. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, guys, this is it. I mean, um, what else do we have? I showed you how uh, you can top up your SFL token with the Cryptoman app. I showed you where to download the Cryptoman app. Um, I showed you how to top up Matic as well, how to use that and um, also how to buy NFTs for the game if you're like me and just want to speed things up. So please, uh, if you have some feedback uh, or uh, you would, uh, uh, you have some uh, ideas how to make uh, this better, please uh, do let me know. Thanks so much until the next time. Bye.